Hi everyone, this is Joey Young and you're watching another acrylic painting tutorial, start to finish, full length, step by step. You're going to learn a ton today, so be sure to hit that subscribe and let's begin. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today for this painting tutorial of a winter landscape over the lake. I'm using the following colors. I've got Cobalt Blue Hue by Liquitex Basics, Titanium White. I've got Mars Black by Golden. And two of my Luminous Neon colors. I've got Luminous Yellow, this is a warm yellow, and Luminous Orange. You can use um, any other yellow or orange if you don't have these ones. And if you're not sure, just leave a comment below and I'll give you some alternatives. So I'm working on a 16 by 20 black primed stretched canvas. If you don't have a black canvas, you can also paint this on white or you can just cover up an older canvas with black paint. I've got the following colors that I'm going to be using for this painting today and have a look down below this video in the description box for the list. Neon Luminous Yellow Warm, Neon Orange, Mars Black, Titanium White, and Cobalt Blue. I'm going to go ahead and get started first by applying a thin coat of white right here, so just about two quarters of the way down the canvas. And then we're going to start coming in with some trees. And I'm gonna show you the first brush right now that we're gonna be using for that. And this is a number 30 filbert that I've got here. You can just use any large brush that you have if you don't have this size. So I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush to start, and I'm just gonna dab off any drips on my towel and pick up a little bit of white. Okay, so I'm just gonna start right here. So about three, inches down the canvas. Pick up a little bit more water. Pull back and forth, nice long even brush strokes. Just out for a really thin layer of white. So it's actually gonna look gray once dry. Okay, so now we're ready for the next step. And I'm gonna be using a smaller filbert brush for our trees, which is our next step. Um, for this step, I'm going to be using my number 14 filbert brush. I'm going to get this brush wet. And I'm going to take my black. A little bit of water, like I mentioned. So just water and black. And I'm going to start right here. Just pull a line. Now the reason why I'm leaving a little bit, I'm going above the black and adding black and leaving a bit of the white is because we're going to have a layer of snow in front of our cabin there and above the lake. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more water again, load my brush up, just wiggle gently. Okay, and I'm just going to start gently pulling and flicking. So a little pull and flick to create an instant forest. I'm gonna make them different heights. So sometimes we're gonna pull a little bit higher up, so longer pulls before I let off and flick. And then I'll have some smaller ones and you can even leave a few spaces in between so this is one of those really really easy techniques that anybody can do and just gives you an instant background forest look and this is of course before we start coming in with our main trees 
or trees that are going to be a little bit more in detail. And these are always really fun to paint with a filbert brush. Um, I find the filbert brush much easier to use for painting trees than a fan brush, but it's up to you guys. You can experiment if you're brand new to painting, experiment with both brushes and see what works for you. So what I'm going to do is come in up high here, pull a tree trunk, and then I'm going to start tapping. Now, because I'm using Mars Black and because it's wet, it's going to really show up right now on that black canvas. But we're also going to add just a hint of frost and, and fresh fallen snow on those trees as well after, so they're going to stand out even more. Okay, so I'm just going to choose a few areas to add my trees. And again, making them all different um, sizes, so taller ones and then shorter ones some skinnier ones. I'm just using the tip of my filbert to push and tap for skinnier ones. And then for ones that you want to be a little bit fuller, you're going to push just a little bit harder like this and tap, tap, tap side to side down at the bottom of the tree to make it a little bit thicker. And to make some of the areas a little bit more dense, I'll just come in and add a little bit more at the base. So because our trees are uh, far away and they're going to be having snow on them, it's going to make our trees look a little bit messier. So you don't have to spend too much time um, trying to make your trees perfect. Just pull a line out for the tree trunk and then tap, tap, tap all the way down. I'm going to add some that are a lot taller to help with this perspective. You can just overlap. I'll bring a few up here. I'm just going to overlap a little bit here. Reload my brush. So yes, for this step, you can be a little bit quicker, looser, and just continuously go with that same technique. Pull a line, tap, tap, tap. These brushes are like fail proof. I mean, they just, you don't have to try very hard. You can be a bit messy and your trees are still gonna look awesome. I 
All right, so now I'm going to wash my brush out. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my white with the black. And we're gonna start adding some snow I just want to, and it's up to you how much snow you want to add. I'm just going to add a little bit here. And I know that it's going to dry a little bit darker, but I want it to. I don't want it to be uh, too, too bright because I want the main source of light that really draws us into this painting to be in that cabin there, that warm, inviting uh, light coming from inside there, probably from a uh, fireplace. So I want all my trees to look different. I really don't want to create too much of a pattern. So if you notice that happening, kind of just stop and take a breather and stand back and look and, and, and make sure you're not, because it's really easy to do and it ends up happening without us even realizing it. So if it looks too much like a pattern, like every tree is exactly the same, you're adding your branches in the same spot, um, then you want to change it up. So go back and just make one a little bit lower. Like you can go over top of your branches, make one a little bit thicker. I'm just going to gently pull and flick a little bit more of that gray in there. But see how soft this gray is? And we can add some taps even just directly onto the black canvas without there having to, we don't even need to add the black first. We can have some softer looking trees in, in the background. Okay, we've got another one here. You can even just do a little tap and kind of a wiggle. And then I'm going to take my white. If it has a little bit of um, black in it or gray. And I'm just going to start sweeping down here. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out and I'm going to start coming in with a little bit of white and my neon warm yellow and I'm going to start adding my little cabin right about in here so I'm just going to add my light first and then I'm going to cut in with my black and orange so I'll just paint a rectangle about two inches long. Okay, 
So I'll just add a few layers. And then what I'm going to do is bring it up a little higher right here. We're going to add a peak. Okay, we're going to have a roof line that comes down here. So a peak here. And then I'm going to have a little peak off the end here. So a little diagonal line there and then pull it across to meet the house. Paint it in. And again, I'm still using my number 14 filbert brush. And then what I'm going to do is leave a space and then I'm going to just leave some block right there. And then I'm going to come in and start adding the reflection in the water. So you can do it both ways by wiggling like this. Quick wiggle side to side. Apply a little bit of water on my brush and load it up with some more of that yellow and white. And then from here, we'll leave a space from this peak here. I've got some light coming down from there as well. I've got a little bit of light somewhere back here. Maybe there's another cabin somewhere around. And then I'm going to add a few more wiggles. Leave a few little spaces here, make it look ripply. So we see the black through in between. And then somewhere in here, we'll have a hidden, there's a few little hidden cabins in there as well. I'm going to just add a little reflection. Maybe there's some snow rain in here. We'll leave a space and then pull, press, pull, and drop. And then you can also add those little Wiggle side to side. We'll add another little something over back here and we'll add some trees in the front too to kind of have it hidden and tucked away. Take a little bit more color. Okay, so I'm just going to come in and add a little bit more of the warm yellow. And I'm not pushing very hard. Just adding little accents, little dabs.
I'm just going to straighten this reflection out a little bit and then just go across and I'm going to take a little bit of white and cobalt blue, mix the two together and I'm going to start adding it over this snow right here. Just a little bit of snow or ice that just comes out. So very thin here, a little pressure, and then push and then let off. Tip of your brush, then push and let off. Okay, then I'm going to take some black, blue, a little bit of that light blue mixed in there. So we're almost making a Prussian blue here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is go from the bottom, pull, and flick up just like the same technique for making the trees. We're going to go in between here. So far we've got three. One larger one, a smaller one here, making a little bit thicker, and then one right here. I'm going to continue along. I'm going to add a little bit more white. And I'm going to start from the bottom again. Pull and flick up. Pull and flick up. Pull and flick. And then gentle little wiggle. go along the bottom here just like we painted the trees press pull and flick turn your brush over I'm going to add a little bit in between here and drop. So you can use a different amount of um, blue, white, and black to change it up. Adding a little bit of water to my brush now, okay? See how it's easier to move around? And because this is such a large area here, I'm gonna to switch to a bigger brush, but just before I do that, I'm gonna take a little bit more blue and black, and I'm gonna bring it along the side here, partially over that lighter blue and partially underneath. And same with over here. Okay, I've got a really big brush here for this next step. This is a 50 and I'm just going to be able to get this done easier with this larger brush. So I'm going to get it a bit wet. Get that paint loaded up on my brush, a little bit of white, more blue. Okay, pull. 
wiggle, pull, wiggle. Then I'm going to pull just a little hint right down. And then soften. So just pulls up and down to the side and then those tight little wiggles. I'm going to take a little bit more white and blue. So hardly any black in here at all. This is mostly just the blue and the white now. And I'm going to make some brighter areas in here. And then I'm going to take some more and I'm going to start coming off the top of the canvas, just the very top. For like maybe some moonlight on the mountains or the sky behind these trees. Just going to soften now with my number 14 filbert brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of white and blue to my felbert. I'm going to come in and add a little bit to the trees. you how much blue you want to add. And I'm going to take some of my black. I'm going to add it right in between the water and the cabins. little bit of blue and you can add a little bit in between each of these reflections if you want as well for a little bit more just 
just make it a little bit more dramatic. Right off the edge here, pull and drop, and then wiggle. I'm going to switch over to a flat brush now, and I'm going to be using a small one. So I've got this little flat brush here. It's a number two. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of orange and black, and I'm going to make a burnt sienna shade, or any kind of brown you want will work. I want mine to be nice and warm, so we get that log cabin look and the warm glow of the light inside. So I'm just going to come down on the edge here of this peak. So we've got this peak here. Let's just go over that, make it visible. And then we're going to go down. And we've got another one on that side. We're going to just go underneath it and then add a line there. We're not going to see all the details, right? You just need to make a few little lines. So I'll add two lines that go down. A little something inside here. A line on an ankle, and then a couple little dabs. We're going to come down right here. Take a little bit of my orange and my yellow. And pull across. I still got that brown color in my brush as well. And we're going to cut around the windows. Okay, so now we've got a rectangle shaped window there. I'm going to add one, two, three lines in it for the window frame. And I'm going to come down below and add some more. Now these can be the posts outside. And just go right across the bottom with a thin layer of the brown. That way you can see the color underneath showing through. These lines are a little bit thicker and a little bit darker. I'm going to take a little bit of black and go right under my roof line. Still keeping the dark brown exposed. A little black line on that side. And cut down there. And add a little bit of the base. And we'll add a few 
lines for our window frame on this side. And then come in with a little bit more orange and black to make our, our brown color again. And this one's going to be a little bit more hidden. We'll have some trees in front of it after. Add a little bit of a little bit of orange here just to warm this up a bit. And then a little bit of a neon yellow warm with a white. We'll have a bit more light inside of that one as well. And then a little bit of these colors in our reflection in the waters as well. So a little bit of the yellow and the orange and everything reflecting. And I'm going to go around the outside here and then I'm going to just wiggle and create a bit of a glow. So I mix the paint up and then work it off of my brush. So I have a dry brush now so I can dry brush around creating a little bit of a glow, a warm glow around the trees and the forest that surrounds it because there's going to be windows and light in the back, right? So I love that warm light hitting the trees and the snow all around. We even have some more cabins further back there that we can't see. And all we can see is a little bit of golden light. Okay, so I'm going to clean brush now. We'll make a brighter shade, white and yellow. Make sure it's fairly dry. You can add a few little dabs in here. And then with more orange and yellow. And just go right over top of these reflections that we first added because they're I'm just going to mix a little bit of orange with my white and my yellow. Um, this is just going to soften this a little bit. Because the first layer is dry, we can apply this as more of a filter. down here and it's time to add a roof and the roof is going to be blue and white for that snow so the same color 
that we've got on the trees. So we'll get it mixed up and then load it up on the tip of your brush. So we'll have a little roof line in here. that we can kind of see through the trees. I'm going to add roof line here, line across, diagonal, and then pull down. And then come down here, go across, cross. And then we'll add a little hint of it there as well. And we'll add some snow above here that's reflecting in the water. Add a little bit more blue over here. And just little hints, little peaks of little other little cabins back there. Or maybe a little bit of light in there. And rinsing out my brush. Add a reflection down here because I just added that other little cabin. Make that brown color again with the black and the orange. And a few little lights. Okay, before I add some trees, I want to add a little bit more light up top here and a little bit more light in here. I'm going to use my flat brush. I've got a number 10 flat and I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to take that blue and white again. And I'm going to pull up. And then wiggle side to side, pull up. Okay, 
let's try that again. We'll add it right here, pull up. It's really fun when you get the hang of doing this. And then I'm gonna add more blue because I want it to be a little bit darker here, but I still want it to be visible. Same thing, pull up, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. larger area so I've got to pull wider lines and reflections for the reflections in the water take that blue and white again and I'm just gonna clean up these lines I'm gonna add a little bit of light reflecting on the snow a little bit of the, the golden warm colors And I'm going to add another highlight in the water because working on a black canvas can soak up the color and you need to add more. So it's really normal for that to happen. I'm just going to go pull down and then a little bit because these get narrower. So can't use, I'm just going to use the corner of my brush. Wiggle, and then as it goes up higher, then I can use where the width of my brush. I mix up that orange, white, and yellow again. Add a little bit more light at the top of the canvas, blue and white again. And again, this light blue back here is from mountains and probably the moonlight you can with very little paint left on your brush wiggle it in and around and over top of those trees Okay, so now what I want to do is add, find my little brush here. I'm going to use one of my mini filler brushes. This is a number two. 
and I'm going to add a few trees in front of the cabins. I'm going to use black, a little bit of water on my brush, and I'm going to add one right here. It goes right off the canvas. I'll add another one right here. Just a few in the front like that. Okay, and then a little bit more water and paint. And I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. You can use a bigger filbert brush if you want. I just wanna have these be a little bit more thinned out so I have a little bit more control with this little brush. For this one, this is a little bit bigger. I think it's going to be easier for me to use a larger brush, so I'll do that. I'm going to use my number 14. Well, at the end, a little bit of water and paint. How about this one back here too? So I'll go ahead and add some there. And this one here, right off the canvas. And I know it's a little scary, but you want to go over top of what's there so you can really set these trees in front. I'm going to add a little bit of blue and white. Back over to my small flat. Again, this is a number two. I'm going to add a little bit of black here under the roof line and between the roof lines. Windows. And I'm going to add a little bit of clean brush, just a little bit more white, less blue and more white. Notice how I'm leaving a line in between and a darker blue. I'm going just inside. The other color, the first base coat of the snow.
and then a little bit more. at the top. I add a little chimney and go right in. Let's see. We'll add it right in here. We'll just add a little rectangle like this, charcoal, charcoal color. And then a little bit more black on the one side. And then a little bit of that light blue or some snow on top. And then a little bit of white. Soften it with a dry brush. To take a little bit more of my blue and white clean brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of this off slant down there we go some more yellow and white and this painting is just about all done reflecting at the base of this cabin or lodge. This is actually um, inspired by a real place in the Canadian Rockies called Emerald Lake. And it's a gorgeous place. I've been there. I've hiked around it. I've never stayed in the lodge, but the lodge is really beautiful. You can walk around it and there's lots of little cabins up and around it where you can stay. You can go canoeing and kayaking around. Okay, well, this painting is all finished. This was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this one too. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Take care everybody, bye.